I had a tremendous amount of respect for Henry Honeyball, particularly on defence. He was one of the greatest uh, defensive fly-offs the world has ever seen. And uh, I, I, I said to him, listen, Lem, they called him, Lem Lemington Blade, he used to cut people down. And uh, Lem, I said, uh, try and think up a move that you'd struggle to defend against. And I just said it like that. And I said, if you get one, just tell me. Uh, you know, I'd forgotten I'd even asked him this question. And on the, I remember it was on the bus, just before the start of the team's practice, he came over, he said, coach, I've got one. And I said, what do you got? And he said, I've got, I've got a move. You asked me about a move. <laughs> He's like that, Lem. He says, nothing for 10 days. Then he came. So I said, okay, great, tell me. So come the game, it had to be on the left-hand side of the field with a left-hand scrum, and it had to be reasonably close to their line. Well, it's a Springbok turn to have an attacking scrum. I think this is the first scrum they've had inside the All-Black 20. And the best days in, honey ball. Oh, big gap! Peter Rousseau! And, but the timing was so extraordinary, you know, the timing of his delivery, dummy to, to, to Joost, and then delivery to Peter. Peter sneak, always on the blind side and sneaking late so they never saw him. And there was dead silence. I thought there must have been a forward pass because the crowd went dead quiet. And I, I just heard, oh, expletive, no, <laughs> from their box. And I just knew then. <laughs> the ref was like, you just heard a whistle, a loud whistle. Henry Honeyball then with a stop. A simple move. And that's how to score from set play. You know what I loved about it was uh, no one else had done that move before. No one. It was the first time it was done by a Springbok team, certainly. and. All Blacks have never seen it before. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. After, I mean, I just want to tell you, after the game, went into the shower, and there I saw in the shower walking around and around in a circle was Henry Honeyball. And he was saying, they can't take this away from me. They can't take this away from me. And I said, what can't they take away from you, Len? They said, they'll never take this victory away from me. I'll have this for all of my life. I'll have this victory. Isn't that wonderful, eh? that a player it meant so much to him that he knew that in 25, 35 years' time, he could say, I was there, I, I was part of that victory. And uh, as I said, you know, you can win a test on just one move that comes up on the Wednesday before a game. <laughs>